All right, as you can see by this giant mess, we're working on the vacuum tube oscilloscope again. So what I have here is the circuitry of the oscilloscope that we've built in the previous videos with the um, multiplier here, power supply down here, and then also the two deflection boards and the actual tube is over to the left here. What is new is this breadboard that we um, built in the last video on this and it is hooked into this oscilloscope and I'll just go over how here real quick. The power supply for this, the um, B plus or anode supply is coming from a power supply up here. Um, same goes for the filament. And then I've got two oscilloscope probes here, one on the output of the circuit and one on the input. I've got a signal generator coming in into this pot here and the negative lead from signal generator is connected to the cathode of the tube. The cathode of the tube is also connected to ground on this deflection board here and therefore it's also connected to ground on this deflection board here because they share the same ground. The output from the trigger circuit goes through a resistor down here that isn't actually necessary. I tried something here earlier, but you could just delete that. Um, but it doesn't matter if the resistor is there or not. Um, it goes into the horizontal deflection here. And the signal from the signal generator is then just fed into the vertical deflection up here. So what we get if we turn all this on I'll show on screen here, which is something that looks very much like an oscilloscope. Um, and that's just a signal generator beeping there. Um, so, yeah, this is a huge step forward. This actually sort of works. I mean, it's not, it's not perfect. It's not perfect by long shot. Um, which you can see if I actually turn the horizontal position a little bit, and I'll put a picture of that up here again. You can see that it is squished down uh, to the right. And that is due to the waveform coming out of this. Uh, what you can see um, is that we get the ramp that we actually wanted, the, the sawtooth. But then it sort of tapers off. And then for the last bit it's just... Uh, horizontal line which means the beam is not moving and that's why the further we go in the um, sweep cycle I'll call it it's probably not the right name for it but the, the further we go the uh, less deflection we get so the picture on the tube is stretched on the one side and it's compressed down on the right side and that's exactly what we saw in that previous picture um, and this is one issue that we need to fix. And um, another one is that we don't really have a power supply for this yet. And the power supply that's in here is also having a couple issues. It's not really regulating as well as I thought it would. And it doesn't have the the ripple rejection that I wanted from this. So, um, you know what that means. It's power supply redesign time again. So I think we have to go through this again and redesign the power supply yet again. Um, but I hope it will, I hope it will only need minor modifications this time. Well, we'll see in the next video. Um, so that we can actually feed this from some sort of dedicated power supply rail sort of thing or have some sort of I mean it's all running out of this one divider at the moment um, so I don't really know if I want to keep that I mean that would mean a lot of rework if I actually wanted to have 
dedicated power supply rails for I don't know the amplifiers and then um, that would be a little more complicated um, yeah another issue with this power supply um, that <laughs> wants me to uh, rebuild this is I had this running for well about half an hour or so while I was um, uh, tweaking around and doing all sorts of adjustments um, you, you get a strong smell of resistor after a while and it's emanating from this board so I mean I can't really see it under there at the moment but I'm quite sure one of these resistors oh yeah probably this one down here that you can't see on camera but one of these resistors is a lot blacker than the other ones so at the very least the thing we'd have to do is to uh, put a put a higher wattage resistor down here um, but I think the sort of short-term goal of actually having a proof of concept sort of working oscilloscope that I that I aim for with the rebuild where I said oh, we're going to do everything just quick and dirty get some sort of picture on the screen if I if I can prove that concept works then yeah I'll I'll start improving on it and I'll start um, getting it right. So I think we've reached that point where now we can go back in and have a look and see what is causing the issues that we have that we have with that. Um, another thing that I probably want to do is I probably want to. Um, have some sort of amplifier that comes somewhere before this input so that I have enough signal going into this circuit uh, not so much the deflection circuit here this has uh, quite a bit of gain on its own but um, this needs quite a bit of um, quite a bit of uh, driving power which I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way, but what we saw in the last um, what we saw in the last video is that whenever this triggers, we get a huge current spike through the grid into the tube, and I'm not entirely sure if it's supposed to be that way. If this is just the thing that I'm driving it from a from a signal generator that can't really put out a lot of current, um, or if if it basically doesn't matter how much current we push in, uh, it's still going to give us because the circuit is wrong in some fundamental way. I'll have to figure that out first, um, and then we can think about um, having a, a preamp here, which is probably not the worst idea anyhow. Um, so that is the state of the project. That is, I mean, not a lot to... Um, that it, it doesn't seem like a lot if you if you watch that video. I just hooked it up and yeah, it makes a picture. But it's a huge step forward in in my opinion, and it makes me really happy with this project, and it uh, uh, really makes me want to work on this again because it uh, for a long, long, long time this was going. It was looking like it was going nowhere. We we're getting no picture. Trigger circuit was really hard, but now I think we're getting somewhere. So. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. I'm. Uh, we'll see if I have to redesign this power supply again.